Hello everybody, welcome back to Foxhole Arms Race. Today we are loading up, playing as the Wardens. Noble Demon Lord is about to join the front. Uh, just looking at the casualties here. The Colonials are running at 168,000 casualties, and the Wardens are 176,000 casualties. And this war has been going on for 162 days. So right now we'll go ahead and deploy, and we'll find where the uh, most dangerous front is, and we'll just push up see if we can't join an assault down there. Okay. We're looking at the map now. So, the war is going on on the kind of eastern front, for the most part. Uh, sometimes wars encapsulate the entire map. Sometimes it's just certain regions. Uh, right now, it's just a persistent war. It's been going on for 162 days. And we're looking at, let's see, we've got Drowned Vale, the medium population. Medium, medium. These are all contested zones. Saltbrook Channel is contested medium. Uh, the Overland uh, in Endless Shore, contested medium. Proptos, low. So it looks like Promethean's... Uh, that front kind of stagnated, so we're not going to go down there. Uh, let's go ahead and go to, to the Overland. Okay, so here we are at the Overland. Uh, we've got a node here to the northwest saying that the defense is collapsing, so I'm actually going to head out that direction and see what we can find. Hopefully, we'll be able to press through the enemy gates, uh, maybe at least fortify the front a, a wee bit. Uh, yeah, follow the road. Okay. Okay, looks like we've joined the, joined the fight here. I can hear gunfire, but I don't see anybody. Nothing I can really do in this trench. So let's move our way out. Oh man, all of these trenches are just utterly destroyed. I can't get any, into any of these. A lot of mines on the road. There's not really much we can do over here. This is all just utterly destroyed. And I need to go get a hammer, I guess. Yikes. Things are exploding. Oop. Kill this guy in his truck. Ah. ah. Got a machine gun truck over here. Yikes, there's nothing I can do about that. But Ooh, man, there's somebody with a sniper rifle up there. Ah, oh, I'm out of ammo. Something I gotta keep track of. Welp, that doesn't bode well for us. Let's go ahead and stay crouched here. Take a look around. So, allegedly, there's a sniper over here, but I don't know where. Can't see him. He was sitting right over here earlier, right where the end of my mouse is. So, I'm hoping to see him shoot again. At least see some movement. I'm not seeing anything. I'm hearing it. So this guy died over here, but where? Yeah. Sorry, I don't have any med stuff. I'm gonna actually cross the road. See if there's anything over here. Oh man, there's nobody fortifying anything over here? 
Yikes. And I just got toasted by, uh... Ugh. Yikes. Well, I got, uh... I got toasted <laughs> by a, uh... A passing machine gun truck. It was an enemy machine gun truck, though. Thankfully. Or, you know, not thankfully, however you want to look at it. But I'm gonna use a hammer. Uh, hammer? No, I don't have that. Ah, repairs. Salvage components. Okay, well... I'm gonna take some ammo too. So this front is not super active, but you know what? Let's go ahead and we'll uh, we'll do what we can to help the people here. You know, anything we can do for the uh, the warden cause. You know, those those darn collies. Got an tank rifle. Hopefully you can take care of that truck. Yeah, so we got one of the boys with an anti-tank rifle. That should help take out that, that lightly armored machine gun truck. I'm going to see if I can't repair some of this stuff back here. I gave up my hammer. That's silly of me. Alright, well, never mind. Guess I'm not going to do that. Ouch, barbed wire. Um, I'm gonna kind of come back around to the side here, because that seemed to do something. Clearly, guys, machine guns. Okay, so I'm going to keep the hammer now. <laughs> keep the hammer. So, the whole point here of what we're doing is that we are fighting against the Colonials just to maintain territory. It is totally dynamic. Everything is, is changing. We're going to do our best to at least maintain Warden Supremacy. Wardens have a tendency to win wars, uh, I, whether it's because they have more players or the players just better. I I'm honestly not sure. Uh, well, that's just how it goes. So we're going to keep pressing, try to do our best. Uh, hopefully, one of these days we can get a squad going. Uh, we can see the Anzacs are back up on tonight. That makes sense. It's a uh, daytime for them. And for the rest of us, uh, at least in this game, it's nighttime. So hopefully by the time the sun comes up, we can see a little bit better. Maybe it'll heat up a little bit. Everything tends to quiet down a little bit. Uh, that? What's going on over here? Oh! What happened to your brother? Ooh, sorry for the Prado! <laughs> oh, there's some inside that bunker. <laughs> Good job, boys. Good job. No, fat. Fuck, did we lose the FIT? They got some pretty good stuff over here. Trying to sneak around. Okay, well, uh, we took care of that. That's, that was cool. Good, quick little attack there. Uh, they're trying to send up partisans to get behind our lines and blow stuff up. But uh, we didn't let them do that.
All right, so let's see. Ooh. Oh no. Uh oh. Hello. Oh, bad guys right up there at the top of the trench. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. So there are definitely smarter smarter ways to do that. <laughs> oh, we just got a 68mm can cannon and a storm tank. Oh no. So we have unlocked new technology. So the whole point is we kind of start off bare bones, but the war drives you to build new tech. So uh, it seems that we are ahead of at least based on chat, seems that we're ahead of the Collies in tech. It seemed to happen last night, too, when we got anti-tank rifles, or the other day. So, just to see. I don't have any materials. That makes sense. I don't know why I'm even bothering. Alright, let's see what we can see. Whoa! What the heck? There's a lot of shooting going on. It's looking pretty grim over there. They're starting to push up. Alright, I'm gonna get us an SMG. Uh, that way, you know, I can at least spray and pray. And, you know, I got, it looks like I got two of them while I was over there. So that's, uh, you know, better than I was expecting, honestly. So hopefully we can really get some of these guys going. Alright, so let's head back out here. Hopefully some of our AI foxholes kind of do their job and blow away these bad boys. But, you know, we're going to have to do most of the fighting ourselves, I'm sure. Especially now that they're really pressing their advantage. It seems to be just like one squad on each end just kind of shooting at each other. Not too much terribly different going on, but let's see... Let's get a flank on him, maybe. Here we go. Got him. Good work, gents. I think I have the ability... Yeah, I don't have any ammunition, so... Does he have any ammunition? <laughs> he does. He's got plenty of ammo. I don't want him anymore. Can I put him down? How do I put him down? How do I put him down? Yeah, drop him.
Reloading. So, I think we can. I think we can hold. I think we can hold them off while we're here. All right. I don't see any more bad guys, which is okay. But we need to be vigilant. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'm gonna kind of back out of here. See what we can see. Maybe over this way? They might be trying to flank around. Which would be a bad time. Let's get in this trench here. Oh yeah, move up with these guys. Maybe, just maybe, we can kind of push forward a little bit. So a submachine gun. Avenge me! Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. We'll, we'll go ahead and pick up the next episode right where we left off. Gonna continue the fight here down in the overland. Hopefully the defense can still stand. Right now, we are winning the war. We have 9 out of 13 uh, towns or cities, town halls. Uh, so, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more like this, go ahead and subscribe. See you guys next time.